think you are correct. They live multiple lives and get to choose what life they wanted to do. Don't get me wrong, genetics do pass on, but they literally look the same. Of dudes that look like you. <laughs> okay. So they just think that you've been on the earth since the earth, since you, you've just been around, there's just different generations. I just wanted to show you just We're in case. We're all stardust, baby. I know, that's, you know. What is my name, man? <laughs> Uh, look at this. Okay, this so is... what do we got? What do you think? What is this? In the beard and the cheekbones. And the forehead. Look at oh. that guy. That's oh, a French yeah. actor, Paul Monet. Yeah, we have the same foreheadish eyebrow, I think. Yeah. But that's the real... Oh. No, I kind of see a little bit of... That's revolutionary. Got the eyes. I just got... There's no such thing as a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. This video has been going around on social media of a man who found a mosquito with the number 38 printed on its body. And then the next day he found another one with a different number printed on its body. And of course, there's been a conspiracy. Some people are saying that the man is just breeding mosquitoes to do scientific experiments on them and therefore somehow putting numbers on their backs to keep track of them. Other people are saying there's a conspiracy. And here it is. For years, people have believed that birds but mainly pigeons are made by the government to spy on humans and there's been many strange events over the years where thousands of birds have dropped dead out of the sky and people believe this is due to the government having technical difficulties fucking hell and that the covid lockdowns was to keep everybody inside so that the government can go out and replace and change all the pigeons <laughs> maybe they had a new update let me know what you think I have never heard of that before. Wow. I mean, can you imagine if it was true? Wow. So crazy. This is the conspiracy iceberg. At the top, you have more well known theories like Area 51 and cryptids, and as you go further down, it gets more and more crazy. I'm trying to talk about as many of these theories as I can on here, so if you like this weird stuff, follow for more. And we're now on tier 3 Truth Agent. This tier is described as the point of no return. Some of this knowledge will make you appear and act like a lunatic to normal people's eyes, but it's only the beginning. If you're still here, you might want to study and research more, following your path. What? What just happened? See this? Look at them all. Look at them all. Look at them all. I've never seen this in my life. And you guys know I'm out here all the time, day and night, and I've never seen anything like this. Never. Look at it. See it moving? There's more. Look at this. They're not stars, I promise you. See them blink and they're moving. Glitch right, in the matrix. Everybody sees me walking. I'm walking. Look. This plane. Is it moving? It's not moving. But it sounds like it's moving. Well, I want to believe that there's a scientific uh, explanation to this because there's no way. What? Tell me what you think, guys. Is that even, is that normal? Scariest conspiracy theories in the world that will seriously ruin your life. This list shows all the conspiracy theories from the most normal ones we all know to the darkest of the dark that will change the way you literally see the world. And of course, in this series, we're going to be going from the top all the way down to the bottom. Quebec, 
let's go for part two. The Titanic didn't hit an iceberg. So we all know about the Titanic, of course, the really famous ship that sunk, and it's commonly believed that it hit an iceberg, but this might change your mind. This is mental. There was, of course, survivors of the Titanic, and a lot of them were interviewed. Not one of them mentioned anything about an iceberg. But what's crazy is a few people did say that there was a fire. Hmm, interesting. Now go and look at this. Before the ship even set sail, you can see a burn area in the photo. And it's actually the engine and boiler room right there. And if there was a fire in there, that's not ideal. Now there's a couple of theories I'm gonna talk about, but the first one was that it never even hit an iceberg at all. It was actually an inside job done by people such as the Rothschild family, which I will make a video on later in the series. The main theory that is very believable has something to do with this burn mark. Now the theory is there was a fire on the Titanic before it even set off, and this fire weakened the hull of the boat. Maybe there was an iceberg, but not as big as it's made out to be. It did hit this iceberg, and if there wasn't a fire, it would have been completely fine. Everyone would have just not even realized. But due to the hull and the ship already being weakened from the fire, that's what made it sink. I mean, that's a very believable theory. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And make sure you hit that follow button, because it's gonna get crazier, obviously. What do you guys think about that? Have you heard of the terrifying sleep theory? No, but I'm terrified of sleeping anyway, so... No, the theory is actually from a quote, and the quote says, Most people agree dying in your sleep is the best way to go. It's peaceful, there's no signs of pain or torture. My grandma used to say that when you die in your sleep, angels carry you to heaven. I've heard this. But sometimes you get a clumsy angel and they drop you. Do you remember that time where you were having a dream and you suddenly woke up? Honestly, the amount, I think I literally did it last night, the amount of times where you wake, where you, you're asleep, asleep and, then, and then all of a sudden you just go, yeah. whoa! <laughs> like I've heard that so many times, so do you want to tell me that? Wait a minute. That is definitely not my gun. What is going on? I keep trying to tell y'all that there's more to the story than they tell us. And TikTok, this video is fake. Do not mess with them. The gully keeps you. They'll actually put a stone or block in her mouth to keep her from talking. There's actually books written where they were so frightened of them. The women especially, because they practice this communal protectionism that if a sound that came out of her mouth, it meant your death. And so when we say, it was not a game. It is just a knowing of how the universe works better than some people to a certain extent. And do you want to know what's kind of funny to me? Y'all know that tongue clicking? That was an actual language. A very, very high vibrational one. It is in language in South Africa that is going extinct. Why? Because they were killed by colonizers for speaking that language. And she also states that they would get beaten up by white men if they were caught speaking their own language. I really want y'all to recognize how powerful speaking is. Like I say, if you ever just hug somebody and they talk, you can hear their voice in their chest. If you touch the back of somebody who's talking, you can feel the vibration going through their body. Your body is listening to you. Do you know how powerful we have to be for them to be able to want to be on the verge of killing us? Putting rocks inside of our mouths so we couldn't speak? 
y'all gotta recognize that creating vibration within your mouth is very powerful. The English language that we speak doesn't even create any type of vibration to enhance the rate of our communication. This is the lowest form of speaking. Just a little hint though. Y'all stay dangerous. More information on my- I want y'all to know how this earth used to be and how it's going to be pretty soon. Yeah, we doing it. Exposing Avatar. Because it definitely was a documentary on how this planet actually used to be and the people. In this land, they found so many new organisms, beings, trees, all types of advanced psychological things happening on this planet. Mainly because they wanted to colonize and obtain resources that would make them rich. Sound familiar? In the movie, there were these beings called the Navi people. Their bodies were so advanced and connected to the earth. And they seemed to have dressed to African clothing. Now the Navi people were very, very tall. And so was nature, all the trees, everything was literally lit. <laughs> There's the same thing about giants on Earth, 8 to 10 feet people living and walking around in the past. Taller than the regular humans. Because who was these steps for? I'm not just making this up. Also in the movie, there were big, tall, giant trees. You know on Earth, the mountains that look like they cut off trees. Now in this movie, they was willing to do whatever, knocking down sacred trees, doing all types of things that hurt the planet and the Earth and everything that was connected to it. Sound familiar? Now, all around the planet, there are these tall people on the walls, and they call them gods and giants and all types of things. What if all of these advanced beings who are called gods in different religions were just highly advanced beings in the past? And in the past, these people who are seeing them call them gods. I mean, who knows what our DNA is capable of? So these humans want what these highly intelligent beings have. So they invaded and took advantage of the peace that we had, aka Native Americans, Africans, Egyptians, all that. Same thing that they did to the Nabi people in the movie. So much bad, sad, negative things happening on this planet to where it can't even be its full potential because it's trying to clean itself up. Prime example while we're alive, we take so much resources from the earth. And then when we die, we put ourselves in coffins, unaccessed to the earth or the soil. In the movie Avatar, they literally bury their bodies to give back to the earth, but we don't even do that. Let's really try to understand what this movie meant and what we're capable of. Always stay dangerous. Flat Earth is the craziest thing, but guess what, dude? It's fucking flat, dude. And everyone is gonna <laughs> find out eventually. The only thing that keeps the the ball Earth theory together is gravity. That's the only thing. But gravity's never been proven. Gravity's like, oh, gravity's been proven. Look, gravity. No, <laughs> and gravity. Like you pick something up, look, gravity. No. Try doing that to a helium balloon. Then what? What is that? Helium balloon and anti gravity spaceship. <laughs> Anything that's less dense than the medium that surrounds it goes up. Anything that's more dense goes down. There's a force strong enough to keep the ocean stuck to it, but it's not strong <laughs> enough. It's not strong enough to affect a helium balloon. You know a guy who's lying about everything. He lies about all the girls he bangs. He lies about everything. <laughs> After a certain uh, amount of lies, you can never trust him. You never say he can't be lying about everything. So let's start believing him. Right? It never works that way. That's not common sense. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's not logic. Only crazy. an idiot. So the more, the more false flags we list that are perpetrated by our own government, the more you don't believe them. Not like, ah, you know what? The conspiracy theorists are going to say this is a false flag. Oh, watch them. They're going to say this one's a oh, false oh. flag. They keep saying that. Like, of course. Listen, we dude. keep piling them up. Oh, exactly. Because they keep lying. I was invited to attend a closed door meeting with a small group of business, with business insiders to discuss rap music's new direction. Rap mm. music's new direction. Yeah. Little did I know we would be asked to participate in one of the most unethical and destructive business practices ever seen. Crazy. And these was a small group of unfamiliar faces who stayed to themselves and made no attempt to socialize beyond their circle. Based on their behavior and formal appearances, they didn't seem to be from our industry. Our casual, our casual chatter was interrupted when we were asked to sign the confidentiality agreement preventing us from publicly discussing the information presented during the meeting. And consequences were stated that violating the terms would result in job termination immediately. He briefly praised all of us for the success we had achieved in our industries and he congratulated us for being selected as a part as part of the small group of decision makers. We were told that these prisons were built by privately owned companies who received funding from the government based on the number of inmates. Mm -hmm. 
the more inmates, the more the government would pay these prisons. Mm. Asked what this had to do with us. At this point, my industry colleague who had first opened the meeting took the floor again and answered our questions. He told us that since our employees had become solid investors in this prison business, it was now in their interest to make sure that these prisons remain filled. Our job would be to help make this happen by making music which promote criminal behavior, mm. rap being the music of choice. Mm. He assured us that this would be a great situation for us because rap music was becoming an increasingly profitable market for our companies. And as employees, we also be able to buy stocks in these prisons. I mean, they control everything. They even control the music that we listen to. It's a high time you wake up. Like, you have to look out for yourself. Because, man, you really can't trust anyone out here. It's crazy. The sharing of biased and false, false news has, has become, become all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media that's it for today guys thank you so much for sticking out to this far don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time i post also you can like this video so that you can reach a larger audience and that's it. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you on my next video. Bye.